everybody. This is Yarek with Team YVR at Remax Quest Realty Westside, and this is Pauline at Blue Tree Mortgages. Terrific. Okay, so something that is a very difficult and sensitive topic that we'd like to talk about is bad credit. We've all dealt with clients uh, in, our, in the real estate industry who might not even know they've got a blemish on their credit score. I remember when I was moving uh, years ago and one of my bills kept going to my old address after I picked up all my mail. It was a piece of mail that wasn't regularly delivered. It was one of those letters from Canadian Tire saying, hey, did you forget that you had a $5 balance on your Canadian Tire card? Well, it ended up damaging my B&I score, which I never even thought existed. I didn't even know what a B&I score was at the time. And my score was damaged. And so this topic is really about those who accidentally or unintentionally, you know, who are well-meaning and have paid off all their bills, something sneak ups on them and they now need to fix their credit score in order to be able to qualify for a mortgage. It's kind of a sensitive topic and so we wanted to offer more on more mortgage brokers and a realtors uh, experience with this to give you a little bit more than just a checklist online of what to do to fix your score. So it's a little conversation we're going to have and I hope you find it useful. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, things happen in life and so a credit can be affected. So it is very, very important. I always recommend people take a look at their own credit score. Uh, you can go on to Equifax.ca and get your own report. It won't be the same as what we would see all the time, but it does give you a bit of a snapshot and it's certainly something that you can discuss with your mortgage broker a year in advance or six months in advance of when you're looking to make a purchase. So, uh, but if you do have an issue with your credit, uh, late payments, definitely they are a big one. Uh, going up or over limit on your credit cards or lines of credit will definitely affect your credit score. Uh, um, and also anything where there has been um, ongoing chronic behavior that has happened consistently over a long time. So those are things that we look for and we certainly go over uh, the report with people so they can see what things have happened, why they happened, how we can fix it. Uh, if you're purchasing with more than 20% down, it's still important of course. There are alternatives that we have for people, but it's going to cost you more money. And so really planning ahead with your credit, if you can do that and take a look at cleaning it up, it's a really good thing to do and uh, it'll help you in the long run and certainly save you money and it is your identity. So it's really important to protect it and so really, really always be quite aware of what, uh, what your credit score is or what's happening with your credit. So to summarize, we're going to give you a few more examples, but to summarize what you've said so far is plan ahead. A lot of clients, a lot of buyers don't even have a list of all the documents need to prepare. Uh, we have a list that we can share with our clients in terms of the things to give your, to, you know, to procure for your mortgage broker. But even before you have that conversation with the broker, months before you meet a real estate agent, it's good to definitely know, oh, okay, um, I've seen my credit report. Plan ahead and get a free copy. You don't have to pay for it. There's services on the internet where you can mail in a request with your personal confidential information and they will mail you a copy or you can fill out a form on the internet and access a digital copy for a small fee or you can get a trial membership with TransUnion or Equifax who incidentally are some of the oldest corporations in the world. They've basically operated for over 120, 130 years since like 1860s tracking people's spending history, receiving reports from all sorts of banks and institutions about everyone's uh, credit history. So these companies are very available to you, the consumer, uh, because they want to sell you another product. They want to sell you a credit score on a monthly basis, but they have a trial where you can get free reporting for a month and then commit to their monthly sort of uh, free reports for you on a monthly basis to track your credit score. Um, there's a lot of ways for you to be able to get prepared with, uh, with seeing what's on your report. Uh, something that, uh, that a lot of my clients um, don't understand is that you see very different reports than what they see. So yes. the retail end of the report is very different. And I cannot even really see a BNI report. It's something that I think only the lenders uh, and the banks. Uh, yeah, can yeah. It's it's uh, the, the credit score is a combination of three other scores, right. and the combination of them tells the lender how your behavior and how you're tracking and, and what your forecast and what your probability is of having a good credit score down the road. Right. So it's really important. And so we don't want you to be. Uh, hearing a, a banker or a lender uh, come back to Pauline and say, the probability of you defaulting on this mortgage is 
extremely high in the next 12 months, especially if you haven't even heard that you missed a payment somewhere or you didn't even know that, uh, you know, again, an example like Canadian Tire has been reporting you as a default unreachable client because they never had your phone number. Uh, you know, this is something that is good to plan in advance. And again, having been there and having cleaned up my credit, um, I know what it can feel like. Um, what other examples do you think you'd like to share with, uh, with the viewers, what do you think? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I think it's really, really important, again, because it's your identity. If you've lost your driver's license or identification, uh, make sure that uh, your report is your report. There's nobody else reporting on it. Sometimes people have a similar name and reports can get cross-referenced. Wow. seen that before uh, people who have uh, fitness club memberships or parking tickets and they don't pay them please 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 pay them because they will sit there and they will cause you grief later so mm -hmm. it's a, it's better to pay the fifty dollars or the hundred and fifty dollars than have it cost you thousands later so as much as that is tough for people to accept just take my advice and pay it off and make sure that you stay on top of those kinds of things so so there's lots of little parts of the credit report so as a broker i really do go through that with people i think it's a really important part of the process and um yeah so really really there's lots of crazy examples out there and there has been some changes to credit reporting which i put out on my on my blog on my website there's a bit more detail on that there but uh there have been some changes so just being under, being aware of that is, is good we didn't include all the examples because we want you to contact us. There's a lot of lists on the internet. Unfortunately, a lot of them are published for American borrowers. There's very, there's substantially less content published for uh, West Coast or Canadian borrowers. And so instead of just giving you a list of things, um, because every situation is unique, we'd like to have a conversation with you. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you.